Hello guys, myself Anand Sharma. Welcome to TechnoSage. So before we start up with this video on XLOOKUP function, I request you to please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. So in this video, we'll be talking about the XLOOKUP function in Excel. So XLOOKUP function is to find things in a table or a range of row. For example, if you want to find out the price of an automotive part with the part number, you can find it easily using the XLOOKUP in a variety or a big data sheet. Or if you want to find out the employee name based upon the employee ID, XLOOKUP will be very handy to use. With XLOOKUP, you can look in one column for a search item and return a result from the same row in another column, regardless of which side the return column is on. So let's talk about the syntax of XLOOKUP. So before that, I need to inform you that XLOOKUP is not available for Excel 2016 or Excel 2019. However, in some of the sheets, you might find XLOOKUP when using the Excel 2016 or 19. It could be because someone might have created using the new version of Excel and you might be opening that same Excel in your 16 or 19. So that time you can come across XLOOKUP function. So now let's see the syntax for XLOOKUP. XLOOKUP function can be called the similar way as other functions like sum if are called. Give a equal and type XLOOKUP and inside the bracket you need to give certain values. First is the lookup value. The lookup value is the value that you are going to search for. Next is the lookup array. The lookup array means the array of range to search. Now let's suppose you are finding the lookup value. So from where you need to find the lookup value, it is from the lookup array. Next is the return array, the array or range to return. That means the output should be from some return array so that once the lookup value is found out, the same corresponding value could be returned from that return array. Next is the if not found, this is an optional value where a valid match is not found, it will return if not found value if you are specifying it, the text you are specifying, else it will just give you NA, NA means not available. Next is the match value, this is also optional parameter, it specifies the match type. If you are giving 0, it will check for exact match, if nothing is found, return NA. This is by default, this is a default function, 0 is a default function, if you are giving minus 1, also exact function, and if not found, it will return the next smallest item, 1 means also exact match. And if not found, it will return the next larger value and it also accept 2, 2 means wild card match. So we have values like 0 by default, minus 1, 1 and 2. We will see these things in our examples. So next is the search mode. Specify the search mode you want to use. 1 is by default, it will perform the search starting from the first index. That means it will start searching from the top. Minus 1, it will start searching from the bottom or the reverse search. 2 means perform the binary search that relies on the lookup array being sorted in the ascending order. Similarly, minus 2, minus 2 will perform the binary search that relies on the lookup array being sorted in the descending order. So your search mode would be 1, minus 1, 2 and minus 2. So let's see how the lookup function works when we say through lookup you can look into one column for a search item and then return the result from the same row in another column. So let's say I am writing USA and my expectation is that I need to return the prefix value in the next column. So how this is possible? I'll type equals, I'll type x lookup, I'll select this x lookup, first one is the lookup value, lookup value was my USA, I'll select this cell, comma, next is the lookup array, lookup array means from where this particular value needs to be looked up, so this is the country field, I'll select the country column, next is the return array, return array means which value I need to return. I need to return the prefix value. I'll select the prefix. So next is if not found match mode and search mode. These are optional. So I'm not giving them. I'll close the bracket and hit enter. And you can see that for USA plus one prefix is returned. Now all I need to do is I need to just replace the country name and hit enter. And you can see now for India plus nine one is displayed. Again, you can check for other country as well. Check for Russia. And you can see for Russia plus seven is now returned. So what it is doing, it is just looking up for the country value from this G9 cell and that country value or the lookup value, it is looking up into this particular country lookup array and it is returning the value from this prefix or the return array column and if it is finding out that particular Russia, Russia country, it is returning its prefix. And if let's suppose I am giving some other country like test, it will return NA as expected since I have not given the if not found value and if by chance I give the if not found value also I'll give the text as wrong country it will give me wrong country I'll give test 1 it will give me wrong country 
but if I give again USA, it will give me plus one. So in this way, XLOOKUP function can be used to find things in a table or in a range of rows. We will see another example for the XLOOKUP function. So on the screen, you can see the employee database where the employee ID, employee name and employee department is given. All I need to find out, I, if I give the employee ID, the employee name and department should come. So let's suppose I'm typing here as 8452. So 8452 is for Linda and the department is accounts. So when I give the employee ID, the corresponding employee name and department should be listed here. So all I need to do again here is equals, I'll type in XLOOKUP. What I need to find out, I need to find out the employee ID, comma, from where? From the employee ID, lookup array. What I need to return, I need to return these two values, employee name and department. I'll select this, these two columns. That is the employee name and the department. And I will close because by default, I'm not using any other thing. If you hit enter, you can see that employee name Linda and account is displayed when I select the employee ID. Now let's change the employee ID to 7573. 7573. Hit enter and you can see Roy and engineering is by default selected. Now I need not to write the XLOOKUP again because the formula is set now. All I need to do is I need to change the employee ID and the correspondingly value will be found out from this employee ID lookup array and the corresponding value would be returned from the return array. Again, if let's suppose the value is not found, I can give no data. And this time if I give any wrong entry, it will give me no data. So this is the error handling where if the data is not matching up with my employee database, it should give it should give me the proper error message saying no data and the customer has to or the person has to use another employee ID in order to figure out the employee name and department or the employee information. Now let's consider another example where we will see for the match mode and the search mode concept. So here what we want, we need to figure out the tax rate for the particular income. So a user needs to put his income here and the relevant tax rate would be allocated or the tax rate would be suggested to him. Now let's suppose I am just giving 84200 as my income. So relevant 24% should be given under the tax rate. So all I need to do is I need to type X lookup and I need to figure out eight for the income from the maximum income section and the return array should be the tax rate. And if not found, it should give me zero and match mode. I'll give the match mode as one. So as we know that it is exact match. If none, nothing is found, it will return the next larger item. Okay. And then again, I'll give one. This search mode one would be perform a search starting from the first item. It will do the search from the top. Sorry, I didn't select it, this income. Hit enter and you can see it is giving me 0 0.24%. 0 0.24. 0 0.24 is the 24%. Uh, I'll give the value greater than 84,200. I'll give as one 84,201. Now you can see calculation has been done from the top or the search has been done from the top. And you remember that we have done for the exact match and if the value is not found, it should give me the next larger item. So according to this particular table for the value 84,201, the next larger item would be 32%. So this should give me 32% instead of zero. Hit enter and you can see it is giving me 0 0.32. Why it is giving me 0 0.32? Because I have set the value as one, the search mode as one, where search mode means the next larger item. If you give minus one here, it should give me the next smaller item you can see the exact match or the next smaller item hit enter and the next smaller item is 20.24 which is for the 84200 because 84201 will be somewhere between 24 and 32 so next smaller item would was 0.24 and if i give one because for text cal calculations always the bigger item is calculated so if I hit, it's just giving me 0.32. So this was the major example where I have covered the if not found, the match mode and the search mode and all the relevant parameters of XLOOKUP function. So this is it from the XLOOKUP function. I hope you understood the concept of XLOOKUP. If you have any questions or concerns, so if you have any questions or doubts, please do let me know in the comment section. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much for watching guys.